I think I want to spend some time here to look at the the software development life cycle, the traditional way of software development life cycle. Um, see here, we call it waterfall, and I'm sure uh, some of you are familiar with this term. What typically happens in 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 a traditional SDLC in a waterfall, the development, the project moves in sequence. So there is a sequential uh, approach before we end of the day we develop a product or a service. There is a staging called uh, planning and requirement, and that this itself takes a lot of time um, in the planning process and requirement analysis. Then once you spend good amount of time in uh, understanding the requirement, then you move on to the design stage. And here also we tend to spend good amount of time, and then we move on to the coding. The next stages we will do testing and we do deployment. If you look at these stages, uh, typically it is 80% planning and 20% execute, 20% uh, execution. So uh, if you are decided to launch a service or if, if you want, if we decided to create a new product and release to the market, the time that is taken is very very high, and uh, therefore it will impact your uh, Go to market strategy and uh, and and people are not going to wait longer time. Um, so typically, you uh, in a way, um, you know, it is typically takes some 60 to 90 days uh, before you release a product or before you launch a new service. And this is not at all acceptable at this time because every customer expect a uh, a change in that product and the customization one of the key challenge and you have a very big market you you need to be uh, head of the, your competition so you can't take so much of time in developing a product or creating a new service uh, this will not work so this is people have therefore realized the waterfall model is taking a lot of time um, and also in this one of the drawback in this model is you know, when you start uh, designing a product or service, you keep getting your requirement uh, from the customer. So frequent change in the, your requirement is also causing the delay of the project. So you take longer, uh, there's a longer wait time for releasing a change. And whenever there's a change happens in between of the project, um, you will also end up uh, uh, having disruption in your production services because the change is, is, is always is there and you are not able to cope up with the change um, which you are getting your customer. So this certainly this model did work in the past but certainly not working in the current, uh, current time.